Just dropped for the US Open, and there are some interesting first, second, and third round matches. Also, some potential quarterfinal and semifinal clashes that are worth a look. But we've got some massive names that are pulled out of this year's US Open, so let's go to the withdrawal list first. Over on the men's side, there's a lot more injuries to bigger names. Starting with Ema, who's out suspended. Struff, he's struggling still with injuries since the clay court season. Nick Kyrgios, still troubled by injuries this year. Karina Busta, Opelka, Chilich, Shapovalov, and Batista Agu all out of this one. There's some big names there, and also some... Fan favorites, not going to be playing at this year's US Open. So here it is, top of the draw, you got Alcaraz, the number one seed. Of course, 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round, not at a slam. You have to play every match. On the men's side, best of five, of course. He takes on Koffer in the first round. Now, Koffer's been in a little bit of form, so that could be an interesting first round matchup. Winner of that would take on either Harris or Pella in the second round. Then you got Van der Zandtrup taking on Thompson. Winner of that would take on either Gallen or the number 26 seed Evans in the second round. Then you got Grigsball, the 24th seed, taking on Feast. Winner of that would take on either Kubla or Arnaldi in the second round. Then you got Kokonakis taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Shevchenko, the number 16 seed Nori in the second round. Nice draw for Elkraz. I mean, there's not too many tough opponents. You know, not, not many players that he, that he hasn't beaten before. You know, he can beat Grigsbore. He's beaten Nori. Kokonakis would be interesting, but I, I don't think uh, he'll be too worried about Kokonakis. All right, next section of the draw, you've got number 12 seed Zvera back at the US Open. He takes on Vukic in the first round. That's a tough first round. If you know, if you've been watching tennis the last couple of weeks, Vukic has been in some form. Uh, made a final, I think, two or three weeks ago go uh, in Atlanta, so uh, definitely dangerous for Zverev in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Altmaier or Lestian in the second round. Then you've got Murray taking on Mute. Winner of that will take on either Molchan or the number 19 seed Dimitrov. Then you've got the 30th seed Echeverry taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Vavrinka or Nishioka in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Sinego. Winner of that will take on either Hanfman or the number 6 seed Sinner in the second round. This section looks a lot different to the Elkris section. Murray, Favrinka, Sina, Zverev, Dimitrov, all in this section. Even Sinego, you know, he's a little bit dangerous as well when he gets on a roll. So this is an interesting section of the draw. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Elkris section. So we could be getting Elkris versus Sinner in a quarterfinal. We could be getting Elkris versus Zverev in a quarterfinal. Uh, but if you want to get something a little different, we could be getting Elkris Murray in a quarterfinal. I mean, a Murray fan's dream. Next section of the draw, you got Medvedev. Three seed taken on Balash. Winner of that would take on either Purcell or O'Connell in the second round. Purcell versus Medvedev is such a great clash of styles. Second round, of potentially, that could be a banger. Watch out for that if it happens. Nish Nishikori's back. He takes on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Baez or the number 27 seed Chorich in the second round. Then you've got the 23rd seed Jerry taking on Van Aish. Winner of that would take on either Ramos Vinoles or Mickelson in the second round. Then you've got Wu taking on Lajevic. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier and the number 13 seed Diminor in the second round. Medvedev section's tricky. I, I, don't, I don't think it's easy. Purcell could be a clash of styles that Medvedev doesn't like. Uh, Chorich is always dangerous when he's on a roll. And Diminor just beat Medvedev a couple weeks ago. That could be really tough for Medi in a fourth round. So I think Medvedev would like, I mean, he would he would rate his chances of making the quarters and he should make the quarters, but there are a couple of awkward opponents in his way. Then you got the next section of the draw with Hashinov, the number 11 seed, taking on Mo. Winner of that would take on either Diaz Acosta or Isna in the second round. Of course, John Isna playing his last ever tournament at the US Open and retiring after the US Open. Then you got Elbert taking on Draper. Winner of that would take on either Husla or the number 17 seed, her catch in the second round. Then you got the 29 seed on Bear taking on Berrettini. Winner of that would take on either Schwartzman or Rindanish in the second round. Then you got a qualifier taking on Monfils. Winner of that would take on either Rusevori or Rublev, the number eight seed in the second round. I gotta be honest, Rublev's at the worst draw. I mean, this sucks. Uh, Rusevori's tough. Monfils is tough. Berrettini, Umber, Schwartzman, Rindanish, all very tough. Hashinov, Isna, her catch, very tough uh, for Rublev. Uh, Rublev couldn't have got a worse draw. And of course, this section will take on the Medvedev section in the quarters. So you could be getting Medvedev versus Rublev if you want to go by the seeds. But we could be getting Medvedev taken on Hashinov if Hashinov is healthy enough. Or maybe even Medvedev taking on her catch, who's been in some good form the last few weeks and even at Wimbledon. If you want to go back to uh, that as well. So this section is interesting. That Rublev section is very difficult. And of course, this section will take on the Elkris section. So Medvedev Elkris could be a semi final. Or if you want to go a little different, Sinner versus Medvedev could be a semi final if Sinner does get through Elkaraz in the end. But uh, man, it's it's a very top heavy draw. Let's get the bottom half of the draw. Bottom half of the draw, you've got Casper Ruud, number five seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Wolf or Song in the second round. Then you got Hitchikata taking on Kotov. Winner of that would take on either Fucevic or the number 31 seed quarter in the second round. Then you got the 22nd seed Manorino taking on Watanuki. Winner of that would take on either Gasquet or Marajan 
in the second round. Of course, Marajan beat Elkaraz famously in Rome a couple months ago. Then you got Ovner taking on Borges. Winner of that would take on either Tian or the number 10 seed, Tiafo, who, of course, made the semifinals here last year. This section is interesting because all the players in this section that you would expect to do well aren't playing well. I mean, Manorino is probably the best informed player out of this section of the draw, to be honest, and, it, and he's, you know, the 22nd seed. Next section of the draw, you got number 14 seed, Paul, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Safiulin or Cecchinato in the second round. Then you got Avashka taking on Sarundolo. Winner of that would take on either Giron or Fakina, the 21st seed in the second round. Then you got Bublik, the 25th seed, taking on Dominic Team. Great first round matchup. Winner of that would take on either Cashin or Shelton in the second round. Then you got Karatev taking on Lehechka. Winner of that would take on either Bayana or Runa, the fourth seed in the second round. And Runa has an injury, you know, a back injury, so we're going to keep an eye on him as well, uh, whether or not he will make it. Bublik versus Runa could be a fun third round. We could be getting Paul versus Runa. You know, Tommy Paul's only lost to Alcaraz lately. Beat Alcaraz, lost to Alcaraz uh, last week in Cincinnati, so he'll He's pretty high on confidence. And of course, this section will take on the Rude section in the quarterfinals. So it could be Rude versus Runa, which should be, we all we love seeing when those guys play. Or it could be, you know, Runa versus Tiafo, if you want to go a little different. Or it could even be, you know, Rude versus Paul. If you want to go on form, Rude versus Fakina uh, could be a could be a uh, something as well. But again, this whole section could be anyone. And the bottom section of the draw, number seven seed City Pass. He'll take on Ryonich in the first round. That sucks for Stefano City Pass. Uh, <laughs> Ryonich, we know what he can do, and City Pass also knows what he can do, and that could be dangerous. A uh, winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Popperin in the second round. Then you've got Hellas taking on Bonzi. Winner of that will take on either Quan or the 28th seed Eubanks in the second round. Then you've got the 18th seed Musetti taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or Barrera in the second round. Then you've got Kecmanovic taking on Varias. Winner of that will take on either Johnson or the number nine seed Fritz in the second round. Fritz City Pass, fourth round, but I've got to be honest, City Pass's draw is a nightmare. Eubanks beat him at Wimbledon. Um, Rayonic in the first round sucks. Popperin's in form in the second round could be t very dangerous. Musetti's there too. I mean, we didn't even mention Musetti. In the final section of the draw, you've got the number 15 seed, OJ Aliasim taking on McDonald. Very tough first round for FAA. Of course, McDonald took out Rafa at Australian Open earlier in the season. Winner of that will take on either Dillian or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Vesely taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on another qualifier who's taken on the number 20 seed, Sirundolo. Then you've got the 32 seed, Jera taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on a qualifier because there's two qualies going at it. Then you've got Marias taking on the wild card, Quinn. Winner of that will take on either Muller or the number two seed, Novak Djokovic in the second round. And I think straight away you think, well, Djokovic is going to make the quarters at least. And probably the semis based on that City Pass Fritz section. Who knows who's going to get out of that section? So uh, who is the threats for Djokovic in his section, I guess. I mean, look, FAA, if he goes, gets good, but he has, hasn't been good enough to be reliable. Uh, Sarundalo could be dangerous, but maybe not against Djokovic. Uh, and of course, this section will take on the City Pass section, so it could be Djokovic versus City Pass. It could be Djokovic versus Fritz. It could be Djokovic versus Eubanks. Of course, Eubanks has been in form, made the you know, quarterfinals of Wimby. Or it could be Djokovic Musetti, you know, and that could be an interesting matchup for Musetti gets good. Of course, Musetti beat Djokovic in uh, Monte Carlo earlier in the season. And of course, this section will take on the Runa section of the draw. So it could be Djokovic versus Runa. If Runa gets uh, his body together, it could be Djokovic versus Rude, which is probably more likely. Uh, Rude's a little bit more reliable and he's a little fitter. Of, well, maybe not reliable is the wrong word, but he is fitter at the moment and probably the fittest player in his section of the draw. But man, it's, it's going to be wild. Now, does Djokovic make the final? I think everyone would probably say yes. Who does he play, though? Because I don't think it's Alcaraz straight away. I mean, you know, Medvedev and Sinner are up there. Maybe not Medvedev, Valkaraz, but Sinner, Alcaraz. It could be Sinner taking out Alcaraz, and then Sinner takes on Medvedev. Medvedev takes out Sinner, makes the final. So it's a very top... Like the, the contenders are up the top, it feels. And the only contender down the bottom is Djokovic. And maybe the reason why there's no more contenders other than Djokovic is because he's down the bottom and Djokovic dominates. But, I mean, look... It, I'm going to go Djokovic because I think he's got the easiest draw. I think Alcaraz has got a lot of trickyish opponents. So I think it's got to be Djokovic up the, down the bottom. I mean, he's got the, the nicer road to the to the final, and that might be the difference in the end. But um, let me know down in the comments below. What do you reckon? Do you think that Alcaraz can defend his title? Do you think that Sinek can win his first? Do you think Medvedev could win another US Open? I mean, I don't I don't mind Medvedev as an outside pick. I, I, like, I like him as an outside pick, um, or at least like outside of the top two. 